and I open the door to her BMW, and I get to oh, no. about here, uh, uh. and then I it, the bubble bursts, and I just start shitting my pants. Oh, oh no! Man. Oh. Lesser known characters. Welcome back to another episode of Lesser Known Characters, where Joel and I sit down with guests and learn their musical interests and all that shit. And yeah, what, what did and I a little say? bit about them. Yeah, a little bit about them. we learn. Oh yeah, that's what I fucked up. I fucked up the intro. We learn about people through their musical interests. That, that's right. Yeah, that's, that's how you it. say it. First of all, Ian, I hate doing intros. <laughs> I just, I just I really like talking. Personal. But yeah, I think good. it's been really nice. I like the when you've done it. You've had a good attitude the last three shows. No, and I, I think people a, yeah. are catching yeah, on. Yeah, you know, seem but. positive, even though that you're really hating it. My so like I am a positive guy, but my I'd say my resting rate for my anger is probably eighty percent. I'm positive that you're negative. I, <laughs> <laughs> that, that fucked me up. That's a, that's I didn't a, have that, a reply for That's that. almost the Mitch Hedberg AIDS test. Yeah. 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 You know anyone who's got AIDS? <laughs> no? Yeah. Well, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> our guest today. Oh, our guest today. <laughs> Mr. Ian Shelton from Military Gun and yeah. Regional Justice Center. Yo. Give it up for him. Yeah. Everybody, everybody start clapping. Um, Ian and I met recently through Toby Morse, but I've always been a fan of Ian's band, Military Gun. It's one of the albums that I f frequently play while I'm here. Which one? The uh, Life Under the Gun. The, the, re, uh, the, one, the deluxe what'd you, what'd edition? You, guys, you dropped that 2023. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we dropped yeah, it yeah, last yeah, June. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, I, first, uh, but I, I heard um, the, the first single I heard was, uh, was Very High, and I listened to that fucking song on fucking repeat. Wait, I, could, that, I don't know if I asked you, but are you straight edge? Yeah, why? It's a song about doing drugs. I know, yeah, 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 yeah. You're yeah, on yeah. Edgewatch, bro. I know, but I'm, I, not. I'm on Edgewatch. Edgewatch. But like, also, like, it's like, hey, uh, I'm a person. And yeah. I'm not a fucking robot. You can be high on a Dude, lot of you're things. a person. You can get high, and you can be straight edge. Yeah, and also, yeah. <laughs> also, my interpretation of it could be different. Yeah, yeah. My yeah. very high is probably different. Yeah, you know, high on ice baths. I get high, high, that's what I was gonna say. High oh, on ice you guys, y'all so, love the fucking, <laughs> y'all love the the polar plunge. Are you gonna do one? I'll next? I'll do one. Yeah, we need it's, we need it's you to. It's wild, dude. We need you to. But I'll, but I'll anyways, I got to know Ian because uh, I uh, co-hosted on Toby's podcast uh, with Ian, and I got to learn a lot about him. And this guy's fucking dope. And then I was like. Come on, less than your own characters. Yeah, I was like, Joel, you got to meet this guy. Yeah, yeah this I'm is excited. my last day before tour. Before tour, before tour so I was, yes. like, I, I was, I'm glad that we made this work. Yeah. yeah, and then uh, you both are drummers. Yeah, which uh, something I wish I could do. You can kind of. It's <sighs> it's over it's overrated. No, it's not. I you mean, it's are, essential. You guys are the coolest part of the band. It's essential, but annoying. Why to have to do. You have to set up so many pieces. Yeah, it's the <laughs> like, worst. Everyone gets to talk bro, while you're no, fucking breaking yeah. down heavy stands. <laughs> Everyone's having a great night and you're just there working. Yeah, sweating. You have to set up longer than anyone else. Tear I help, down I longer help than you anyone out. else. I you help. do help me out. No, I've had, I'm grateful. But I went a lot of years with none of that. <laughs> no help? Nope. Just people like, hey. Everyone just getting drinks, hanging out, talking. And I'm fucking, oh. Hey, Joel. Hey, there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, fine, whatever. I'm really interested though, because I, I started. I listened to you guys after he told me you were going to be on, and I, I um, I have my ideas of what may have influenced you. So I'm wondering if I'm like right about some of it, but I'm curious as well. Yeah. I know, right? I don't yeah, know I that. I don't know that the list that I provided is very indicative of. <laughs> Uh, okay. Military gun, but well, it's got to be some somehow. If it's yeah, a, if yeah, it's yeah, indie, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll saying. find it. We'll yeah. find it. All right, let's start off with the first question. All right. All right, first album you ever bought. So am I supposed to have this shit memorized? Because I don't. I no, was no, like, you can, yeah. you can read I got it right on screen for you. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, but we're uh, not gonna look at the screen. Yeah. So, so for me, it the one that so I had albums before, right? Like that my parents bought. Yeah. yeah. But the one that I remember being like, I need this CD right now, and I did a day of like yard work. So Hell that yeah. I could get taken to Rasputin to buy this CD. Yeah. And that was an Outcome the Wolves by wow. Fuck yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That was you got a song amazing. you want us to play? 
shit. I want to. I want to. I want to know. I want to see if we have the same favorite song off this. Album. I would just do Ruby Soho just because that was the hit. That's what got me there. You yeah. know. Oh, was, okay. Or Journey to the End of the East Bay because I always love that because I, I lived in the East shit. Bay. Um, I love the the big singles. I mean, it's such a crazy long album. I don't listen to it much now yeah yeah. but at the time you know like that oh, was, was where like, like the, the, the fashion punk like started yeah, to come in yeah you know where you're like oh, i'm gonna go to hot topic and get a, a shirt mm-hmm. and i'm gonna make my hair look crazy yeah. yeah um that's where that desire really i did a journey to, to the in. end of the east bay for my eighth grade talent show dude yeah well once you learn that that oh well no i, so I, that was the I started thing. on bass so. the guy who could play the yeah. bass line was like the guy you're like you can do that so the, yeah the bass line to this song is fucking Insane. Yeah. Just giving Mike a little backstory of it. It's a great song. That was like a benchmark for us. Like if you could play that, you were like fucking a good bass. And then everyone's like, what if I learned Maxwell Murder? And then you're like, well, you ain't. You're not gonna. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) So this was, wait, you were how old? Because this came out in 95. I probably was in fifth grade. Okay. And it just, I think it just played on, I think Ruby Soho. Or no, uh, it was actually Dave Mira's BMX. Hell it yeah. was Maxwell, Maxwell Murder, Murder was, was in there. there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And that was that was the start. Wow. I, See, I people talk about Tony Hawk, but Dave Mira. But Dave, Mur- Dave Mira got me on my first punk CD before I fucking before yeah. Tony Hawk. Forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, I was heavy into BMX too back then. I love Dave Mira. And uh-huh. I, I had his like Adidas Pro Model shoe. Yeah, isn't that amazing? What what that kind of stuff did for people that love music back in the day well, like, it, or, or not even like even if you didn't love it but it just like it was just like a perfect intro like it was like almost like the first playlist yeah if you will oh and I said, well it will also culture just used to be more ubiquitous in that way yeah. where it was like a, there was singular pieces like yeah like we're not even the same age we're not we're not from the same place yeah but dave mira <laughs> BMX got us both into rancid, you know, 100%. like, uh, and so it, it is really, it's, it's such a bummer to think about now where you're like, Oh, like there is no singular touchstone anymore. Everything is so, yeah. Yeah. There's too many places to get your information from too many fucking places. Yeah. And also you don't know if that information I, is always right. I even yeah. heard, um, fucking, Oh yeah. Know, what was all on there? So this is the soundtrack to Dave Miro's. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Yeah, dude. The deviates. Yeah, they had Sublime, What I Got. Yes. Oh, yeah, I forgot they had Deftones. Oh, my God. Damn, what a fucking sound. Social you Distortion. Reading this Primer 55. Oh, I that? see the name. Okay. Yeah, I like, yeah. It didn't, yeah. Do you it's, need glasses, too? No, I, I... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the wow, way. with two blind dudes here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, yeah, what I got... Yeah, that definitely would have got me. And it was yeah. the... I think it's the reprise version on 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 that, but it didn't say reprise there. But I remember it seeming different than the album. The what the, I got, the, what I got. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. On there. Man, dude, I totally fucking remember well, I, this. When I read Bad Religion's book, they talked about like Kelly Slater hitting them up for like if he could use their song in his video, uh-huh. and they just like were like, yeah, just do it for free because they knew what it would do for them in the long oh, run. Yeah, you know? yeah, I and mean, it did. It worked out for a lot of these. Oh yeah, Millen going on. Death yep. by Stereo, dude. Shout out to wow. fucking Death by Stereo. And, you know, I saw Cypress Hill on there too. I love the Deviates. I love that. Yeah, they're damn Pennywise swinging udders. Shout out to this. Song. Yeah, man. What a there was another skate, moment. This uh, like a skateboarding game. I think it was before Tony Hawk. There was the Thrasher one that really sucked. Damn. Yeah, there was. It, it wasn't. It wasn't a good game, but but that one had like Tribe Call Quest. It had Black Flag. It had uh, No Effects Linoleum. I can't remember the game exactly, but that's what like. Like my intro to like Tribe Called Quest was was wow. from that mm. game. See what that fucking does. Damn. Oh, also, man. my favorite song on uh, and Outcome of the Wolves is Olympia. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I, fucking I hate Olympia, Washington as a place. I hate people from really? Olympia, Washington. Really? <laughs> so, it's, so he's it's he's like, from yeah. he's well, partially. Yeah, from, yeah, yeah. I moved. I moved. I moved up to Washington when I was uh, twelve. Yeah, okay. and. Uh, yeah, always motherfuckers are pretentious as fuck. Like, in Olympia? Yeah. Where's trash, wait, where is trash Olympia? People. Like in Revol- Re- uh, uh it's south of so like the northwest, like as far as what people consider is is like basically I five and it goes through Olympia, Tacoma, and Seattle and all the way up to Van like then it yeah. crosses over into the Vancouver. Vancouver. Yeah. Um but yeah, b- but Olympia is like the the south like fifty miles south of 
Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Yeah. And it's trash. It's trash, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's trash. Dude, Are it's, you guys going anywhere near that? It's a fucking cesspool. It's like uh, it, 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 it's just, it's just, uh, it's like a small town, but it's a city. Yeah. Uh, and uh, dude, it, dude, I've never when I was like was involved in the social scene there for a little bit, and I've never everyone hates each other and just like really like dates each other and uh they're all just pretentious shitty people but that, so that's small, my so that, small town vibes that, that's but like, my experience from back then i'm sure there's new people in olympia that are very yeah kind i doubt it but you know like <laughs> it, it, it might be the case <laughs> that's hilarious i guess I, so i uh, Sorry, Olympia. I might, I might not ever play there. Don't go. Don't go. So like, yeah, Don't small go. town politics, but like, enter like city, but in the energy. city. city yeah, energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fuck mm. that. Uh, small uh, town politics, but there's also a lot of homeless people. You're like, what's anything going good, on? Anything, right? good, anything good about that place? If you had one good thing, yeah, to one say? good thing to say about Olympia. <laughs> <laughs> the chair swallows you up. Nah. Damn. Nah, fuck damn. yeah. Well, you heard it. I here respect first. it. Yeah. Hey, I'm all about trashing cities. You wanna know why I'm all about trashing? Because people get so like, hey, th- you can't make fun. Of-. I'm like, every city could be made fun of. Yeah. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, especially if, if your city fucking sucks. Yeah, especially. <laughs> also, you don't own the fucking city. No. no one, no one knows you're fucking here. So yeah. it's like, shut up. I get that. I get that way about uh, cities. Uh, the anthem of your youth. So this one was really hard, and uh, what I ended up deciding was mindless by infest because damn i was straight edge when i was a kid uh-huh. i hated drugs and alcohol and if this was covered at a show i lost my mind I yeah and one time i saw this band lack of interest cover it and i was like that's the closest i'm ever gonna get to see infest and then i've seen infest a handful of times oh you see yeah yeah because i was like they still play don't they yeah that yeah, guitar yeah. tone is rad though i know I love this, that. this OG shit right here. See, I don't know. What? I never. I don't yeah, think yeah. I know this band at all. Yeah, they're, uh, they're from the East Coast. No, I know from, that picture from though. From NorCal. So- SoCal. Oh, SoCal. Yeah, oh. I think that picture is from Boston. Oh, is it really? I think so. Infest is dope. Homie's a big boy singer, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joe Denunzio. Yeah, damn, that's Man. a good one. Anthem of your youth. Whew. That was just like, you know, like from basically like 15 years old on, if I heard that, that song, was the song I'm, that I'm going to like fucking... jump off a bridge. You yeah. Know? Like, Fuck yeah. They're going to have to get in there. Yeah. So that, yeah, that, that, and like it, there were so many moments where that kind of like, you know, it touched a piece of the, the, of my life, you know, where it's yeah. like a big show or maybe I, my band covered it or, and then seeing lack of interest cover it. And like, and I was 18 when I saw lack of interest do it. So it was yeah that so it hit different pockets of your life at, yeah, at that yeah. time and now i'm not now it's the lyrics aren't even well i guess they're more relevant to me cuz i'm a mindless mutant cuz i do drugs and alcohol but <laughs> uh you know that it was that rebellion element you know yeah. of like like keeping drugs and alcohol away at the time was important mm-hmm. yeah it was a part of that and how, how old were you at the time of, of the of the, like this I, that was like i mean like like fourteen on was was yeah, all yeah. was all that. That's when I you mean, really yeah. find it. Yeah, I feel like that's when you you like uh, that's how I felt when I found like Black Flags uh, Rise Above. It was like the perfect song I needed. Yeah. at the age of uh, yeah fourteen. Yeah, at the time I just needed that fucking mm. song. You know what I mean? And I feel like they, they, like that's like this for you. Mm-hmm. Fuck definitely. Yeah. I mean, there was other songs before, but that was like. The one again that just kept running through yeah. through, mm-hmm. through youth, you know, it was like it had a, it had a lot of staying power for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I like it. I like his shit so far. Okay, what's your favorite song to play in the car? So lately, lately, I've been listening to a lot of the 1975, and it's the song "Love It If We Made It." Mm-hmm. Uh, I actually don't know any of their music. Yeah, me either. Dude, this, don't, so don't tell I, them I said that. I this song did it for me i didn't really? like them uh-huh i agree first time i heard this song and i was in the car like, oh yeah you're like couldn't oh, tell shit. when it was from yeah oh mike this show shit too yeah good one it's a cool video oh I, yeah actually yeah i don't know any this of part this is what got me the vocal part okay Ooh. okay yeah this makes sense this makes 
If you've never seen the video, solid video. Yeah, yeah. Oh, video's insane. Holy fuck. Wow. It's like if uh, if Michael Moore directed an Apple commercial. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that's how they described it yeah. too. <laughs> yeah, this is great. Ooh. Now, what did that so sign like, say, Chappelle? <laughs> what did the sign say? <laughs> what, what, what sign? Never mind. Go so back to it. I want to see me, it. Part of me resents the the pop stars being political thing, but uh, the song bangs so hard that yeah, I, yeah. I just can't, uh, I can't deny it. Yeah. And I just literally saw Great. them. I saw a clip of them playing it live. Have you seen them live? No. Uh, the show looks amazing. Yeah, they were. I think they were just here not too long ago. But yeah, they, they, you know, it's a band I've always just frequently heard you know I, it, all the time but i just never taken the time to actually like take a listen yeah you know? and th this was the song did for me love Br made british it. british band right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. i remember I, I know the guy uh the singer had uh some words to say about noel and liam oh yeah yeah like, he pissed up that's what i like about him is that he pisses everyone off yes it, it's entertaining and it, and it did piss them yeah, off pissed he pisses off. off his lead guitarist who will sometimes start playing over him if he starts going on a rant oh, well, that's they, 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 have start like a, the they have like a planned thing they do every All night, right, he nice. starts with the con he says uh he's like i know i'm not supposed to say this but black people <laughs> and, then, and then they then they then they start the song you know like uh uh, That's hilarious. So, but so it's every night is like something different from what me, I've me seen. Me and Chappelle. Oh, yeah. I know, yeah. <laughs> but I'll say They're it. Like, yeah, I think that Palestine and then yeah, the song yeah, starts, yeah. you know, so it's, uh, yeah. it's a good shtick. It makes headlines. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So he, he's that kind of guy? He's, I mean, he's just kind of like one of the last rock stars, really. I mean, like yeah. that's kind of the vibe that I get is just that he's... You know, he just don't give a fuck. Yeah, I mean, he seems to be playing a character for the most... Who knows what the fuck his actual personality is, like... True. Um, yeah, we, yeah I, I, I agree with that, because I feel like we live in such a time where people are just kind of doing things to, like... Oh, this will make headlines. But that's what it always was. That Like, that's what this But I feel like it was a lot more is. organic, though. No, I think about all these corny old rock stars, like... They were doing it like, yeah, you know, saying they were talking about drugs to get into the press. They were doing, Alice you know, Cooper what I'm saying? was like, doing all that shit, biting yeah. your head off a bat, like all that, you know, like that's just press. And then I heard it wasn't a real bat. Yeah, for, yeah, I mean, who fucking knows? Uh, but I guess they were they used to throw fake ones, and one day like a bird had landed, and he he grabbed it and like bit oh, it. Oh, and Alice Cooper too. Something. <laughs> what did he, Alice Cooper do? Oh, there was a chicken that there, there's someone a great, threw a chicken on stage. Oh and then God, he, yeah, he threw he, it back. They killed but it. But he thought it was fake. Yeah. There's Man. a movie called Supermensch about someone, Shep Gordon. Who someone was, threw a flag on stage at one of our shows, and I thought it was an Israel flag. Oh. And so I was like, oh, no, I like threw a jacket over it. I was like, I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but the uh, it, it was a Scottish flag because oh, we were in Scotland. It made sense. Yeah. But I was like, <laughs> I was like some motherfucker. Because it was like the week before or something like that, Sleaford mod, someone threw an Israel flag on stage and he was like, I'm not fucking talking about this. Yeah. And everyone's all mad because they won't make a political statement. But I was like, I am not yeah. well equipped to be making no. political statements in the middle of our also, fucking Also, I fuck set. with Sleaford mods. Hell yeah. They're dope. Well, you're not allowed to, no. <laughs> He's got comedic timing. He, he really does. He's got it. Yeah. He's got the look. I'll be at the comedy store. <laughs> yeah, he's not going on tour anymore. He's going, he's going on tour. Hey, I'll make, more, I'll make more money doing what y'all do. Fuck. Uh, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> you got to split your shit up a lot of fucking ways. Oh, yeah. You that's, true. That's, that's true. That's true. That's yeah. true. Never mind. It's, yeah. it's, the the it's, type of drum right, kits you like yeah. are expensive. Yeah, never we got mind. we got five members of the band. We got three crew members. We got a manager, yeah. booking agent. You know how it goes. Never mind. Okay, <laughs> you win. You win that one. Yeah. You win that one. He's right. Okay. Uh, first of all, yeah, I'm gonna take a deep dive on them hoes. But uh, yeah, you should watch that documentary. It's called Superman. Shep Gordon. He's like the first manager to get to create like. Hoopla around bands to get. Oh, is like he, he the had one a that bus did... break down in Piccadilly Circus with a uh, like Alice Cooper naked with a snake and is this the guy? Made the news. Is this the guy that had a bunch like hired a bunch of like fans and or like fake photographers? Fake fans no, to come no film in the camera. When some band arrived to like yeah. L.A. Yeah, it was like a British. I don't know if it was like Zepp, I don't know who it was, yeah. but they arrived to L.A. and there was a bunch of like he hired like a bunch of people just go, just to go crazy. Yeah, for when they got there. That's yeah, him, man. And then all of a sudden, boom. 
What do you guys think of like? Is that like? What do you Just think? What of? it is like? Beatles mania wasn't like. It was a real thing, but it also was generated. Yeah. By uh, the music industry machine. Yeah. That, you know, I always think about that too with like Michael Jackson. Like in all interviews, they would always bring up the kid shit. Mm-hmm. They would always bring up the kid shit, and it, like, and it, and every time that would always make a headline. Even like post like well, his court that's dates. The, that's their job. Like it, when you're a fucking in in media, your job is to to whatever at whatever cost. Yeah, get eyes. But, get, but the get, thing get, is, you know, like, make that controversial headline. So, so yeah, and so the thing is, uh, the other side, like Bill Cosby. Like never wanted anyone to bring up, yeah, his shit. Well, you know yeah, because you can go in like when you have a publicist, you could be like, "Don't ask about that." And then a lot of times that's they what do I'm ask saying. And then I think about it, I'm like, I'm like, if MJ like he like he gets he got asked that question all the time, yeah, and he would always like they would always he, be. I don't know why he didn't shut that shit down. I don't know. It's crazy. Yeah. That well, because that's ignorant. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I was just shown an amazing Michael Jackson clip, which was an interview where they're like, Michael, what do you think about touring? He's like, I don't really like oh, it. Oh, yeah. I, I hate I hate touring. Yeah, I hate, I hate touring. touring. It's and like, then they were so like, well, I, you have to say you say, like it, Michael. Like, I love touring. I love to tour. Yeah, yeah it's so, it's so <laughs> Holy incredible. Such a, such a great clip. Yeah. Uh, okay, so next question. Best live music you've ever seen. I always love asking musicians. So I have stuff. two answers. Okay, and that's fine. The best I I have ever seen was Nick Cave in the Bad Seeds. Oh wow, cool. That was one of the most immense, amazing. Did you see him at the bowl? No, I saw him in Portland, Oregon, like when I still lived up in the Northwest. My oh, friend just had that tickets. That was uh, one of Sarah's answers. Too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it, it was when uh, after Skeleton Tree, which is this really really beautiful album and um dude it was insane like i've never seen wow i've never seen someone have such control and and like the sound was such a huge part of it you know like there's that song red right hand that's in like every fucking movie yeah yeah. um when they went to the second verse the fucking way the kick drum became a goddamn shotgun Uh, like uh, like in the dynamics it was just the most dynamic the most dynamic performance in that it it was at some of the loudest moments i've ever seen and uh, and some of the quietest moments i've ever seen wow like like the control you were talking about like the stage control is like just like yeah just like the ability to to be a showman he's been doing it for so long yeah you know and like any, yeah. any, anybody that I've known that has seen him live, all say like yeah. they all feel something. Same for sure. When they when they see him, because it's uh, like you just said, like so, such power yeah. behind uh, uh, the whole you know the whole show. Yeah, you could kind of say it's it's like uh, Sarah Marshall, like Dracula, Jason Segel yeah, yeah, music, yeah. but yeah. it's also so beautiful. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've heard people say that weren't even fans. They like leave there being like Becoming lifelong. A fan. Yeah, they're in it. Yeah, now. that's happened to me with with bands that I've like seen and uh, didn't really like like, and then I saw them live and I was like, oh, I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. that was me with Seven Seconds. Nice. I yeah, mean, yeah. I, uh, my experience is a little the opposite, but <laughs> uh, I, 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 I saw I'm, Seven Seconds and I definitely I saw I've seen Seven Seconds and I've seen Bad Brains and it it ruined both. Yeah. Bit. Oh. Ooh. HR fucking hit the hit a yawn during sailing on, you know. So it's like so I'm sailing, yeah, I'm, <laughs> and I'm sailing, sailing on. on. Yeah, I'm moving. <laughs> in. Yeah, I'm moving on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like. Bro, why are you here? Dude, Daryl Jennifer was fucking like crying in the corner. Why? Like, dude, he was like straight up. I look over and he's facing in on his base cab. <laughs> dude, he just like, he looks scared. Why? Dude, I don't know. He had tears in his eyes. I and think it was it's because like, HR is such a like, you don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Yeah. Dude, it was watching his friend. HR kinda, stood with his hands in his pocket the whole performance. Oh, I know. Yeah. It was, That's it what was, he does. It was he'll stand bro. like this or he'll stand in it. Yeah. But Dr. Knows guitar tones and like the set oh, list was incredible. The band was bringing it. It was really bizarre watching Daryl Jennifer be like crying, scared. But the performance was incredible for everything besides HR. But you're like, I'm here for HR. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like, uh, seven it, seconds. I mean, those, those old videos of seeing Bad Brains are so iconic. You know what I mean? And yeah. like, I mean, like, that's like a big thing for like, guy, like Anyone. when we were kids, yeah. like, like watching those videos, I'm here watching HR and I'm like, 
dude, fuck yeah, this is what this is what this is. Yeah. And so yeah, then when you do see like it moving forward, that's why like cer- certain bands probably should not get back to like I don't know if I could see Minor Threat. No, no, no one wants that. Well, they were you know children. What I mean? Yeah, exactly. They were children. Like they're like. I think they would crush it though if they came. Back I don't by think so. Threat. I it would don't be, know. It would just would be so you, boring. It'd be so stale. Like you watch. It would. You, it'd be tough. You watch the current Brian Baker bands and like it doesn't. It fill me with ex- excitement. Yeah. You know that. that I mean, that's, I, I will be Fugazi. seeing Bad Religion and. Uh, uh, see, like, but that's different. That's, that's different. Bad Religion. Yeah. They it's never already playing. more adult. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Okay. Like yeah. like yeah. where Minor Threat is pure youth. Pure youth. Okay. All those songs. All those songs. I would watch you. Fugazi any day, though. Of course. If they decided to do yeah. that. Because yeah. cause it's them growing into different levels of music, mm. musicianship. It's not just... Yeah. But, yeah, I don't know. It's seven seconds. was just kind of like whatever. Yeah, you know, yeah. When I saw him. Wait, watch. did you have two answers for this? Best two, life? Second answer. I oh, yeah. at this. Favorite show I've ever been to was Limp Wrist. Hell yeah. Again, in what? Portland, Oregon. Two, I hate oh, Portland yeah. as well, but... The, uh, <laughs> But I guess my two favorite shows I've ever been to were in Portland. Uh, I so saw, you love know Portland now? Yeah. Do you know Limp Wrist? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. That's that's that show. I've never looked up Wait. a video from the show. How long is this video? 56 seconds. Ah, that's I'm going to see if I can see myself stage dive. Is that you? That, that was me. That uh, uh, This stage show. That's crazy. Really? Yeah. I jumped off that speaker later in the set. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure because I had that that skank style around that time. Right there, there you are! Uh, wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow! Yo. So that that show was the most I've ever staged of. Yeah, I've only heard great things about them. I, yeah. I, I liked Crudos and um, yeah, Crudos Danny, the amazing. sound guy at the comedy store. One day he's like, "You gotta check out Limpris," and I was in my car played it and it was exactly what i was looking for at the time yeah. i was like this is it this uh, is it yeah limp wrist bangs and it, it was yeah it just was like one of the most fun shows i'd ever been to that was it it was just yeah. like the most fun oh yeah like this and like the when i saw the addicts when i was in seventh grade nice like, dude those yeah. were like the two and like i saw circle jerks like around the time like when I was ninth grade and like those Three shows, like the most hardest I've ever gone for. Yeah. Is that you telling me that the addicts have had the same lineup the whole time? Yeah, longest running yeah, band with the original fuck. lineup. Yeah, original lineup since Damn. 74. Whole time. 74. That's fucking. And I hear they still rip on stage. Dude, I'm sorry. They're playing Coachella. I'm very excited. To wow. Oh, so cool. He, he's, he's playing oh, Coachella. Man, that's yeah, yeah. dope. Yeah. I, that's good for them, man. Get that bag. What, dude. Day, what day you guys play? We play Saturday. We play Saturday. You gonna yeah. try to catch them? Oh, I gotta. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm gonna see the Addicts and Blur that day. That's like the fuck. Big, like, yeah, I know. If I could meet Monkey from from the Addicts, and if I could meet uh, Damon, Damon, you will. I, I, I'm gonna I, put the energy yeah, out there. Let's go. Damn. I need to be on that Gorilla song, man. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that's a, that's hell yeah. One of his that's dreams. My, that's my top. Yeah, top dream. Uh, okay. Song you play when feeling sad. So this one was really hard because they're like I'm. I don't have a, a gi- given to, but for some reason this mo- song, "The Eraser" by Tom York, popped in my head. It's not huh. necessarily sad, but I feel like it could pick me up. Mm. Really? See, I like that. A little pickup. I don't do well with the sad stuff. I'm real sensitive to music, mm. so I don't like to like go there. It'll pull me in, and then I can't get out. But yeah. I like a uplifting. I've never listened to his solo stuff. It's awesome. It's a yeah. great album cover, too. Uh-huh. Huh. But yeah, it's kind of off-kilter. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he gets, he gets pretty deep, doesn't he? Okay. It's weird. It's, it has, like, this, like, um... It's, like, funky, but has that, like, uh... Almost, like, uh... What's that video game shit? Lo-fi. Mm. Is it lo-fi? Or like yeah. 8-bit? 8-bit? Yeah. Right? Am I tripping? Yeah, it's kind of like a sh- just a shitty keyboard, you know? Yeah. But he took the shitty keyboard and made it like dope. It sounds mm. really yeah, fucking Yeah, you could cool. see like a funk band joining him on like Midnight Special. That's so. what I'm saying. Like, I, yeah, I just get funky from it. Yeah. But that's what's good because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, off, it's like sad, but you're like bopping. Yeah. Huh. Nice. With wow. The, sh- the Sade. Don't fucking. give. Yeah. I'll, <laughs> I can't believe I've never listened to his solo stuff. Yeah, dude. This record is amazing. This this, this is called the Eraser. Yeah. The record. Yeah. 
And the song's called what? The Eraser. Oh, the song's called The Eraser, too. Ooh. What year was this? You know what year it was? Uh, I do not. Uh, 2006. 2006. Oh, okay, cool. 2000 what? Six. Six. Damn. I live for shit like that. Yeah, it's beautiful. <sighs> Bro, that fucked me up. Yeah, it's a great song. Do you, do you, uh, do you, you don't get sad too often. No, I don't. Yeah. Not these days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get frustrated. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, You know, okay, like, like, yeah. like, like, I feel like my emotional bandwidth has, has really become quite shallow. It's yeah. like excitement or frustration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you know, like I know the, you said you've climbed, you climbed yourself out of some, like, areas. Yeah. Well, some, it, dark, some dark areas. It gets there. It gets back there, like, uh, but. It's, like, rare. It's rare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm good at. Basically, the way that I've viewed creativity my whole life is like the, I know how to trigger basically my ego to like it to encourage adrenaline. Okay, you know what I'm saying. Okay. So like break, the only break that down a little. The bit. only thing that I've ever done is plan. Okay. So I am a big planner, which makes me excited. Mm. So ah. when I'm feeling down, I basically in, it construct a plan like a nice that makes me excited so then i have the adrenaline and dopamine of of what feels like a success because i've mapped a success wow yeah in my i just mind. saw so some guy on tiktok sorry, talking about that how to get yourself out of things he's like if you're worried about the future plan like this Ooh. thing and I, make that's lists, exactly what man. it is yeah. making lists like is really a so, huge wow huge one for me i don't think i've ever really thought of it like that but you think not, about this not, like, not that i get sad i mean i there's certain things that'll make me sad for sure mm -hmm. you know but it's like i mean it's things that are like like it's usually like loss of someone that yeah. was very significant in my life you know that i've like lost like a long time ago like that that kind of sadness will re resurface um but like other than that like you know like but I, but i do have my like moments you know like yeah you know they're, they're a little bit they're a lot softer sadness than it is like the deep sadness. So like when I think of like my brothers or anything like that, mm -hmm. but you know, I never really thought like of like, Oh, like plan. And like to, to help like to find that shift. Well, so it's know? like, so like if, uh, if, if, if I was you and I'm feeling sad, I'd be like, all right, well I got to do, we got to get this club off of my list to, to, to like, cause that's a mark that I got to hit to, yeah. to get to the next thing that I'm trying to do. And then I got to do this and that's going to help me get to that place. Yeah. And just like that process of deconstruction of how to get where I want to go is basically, it's the same thing as, well, so the unhealthy way is people post on social media to make themselves feel better because yeah. you get a dopamine hit yeah. every time you do it. So a lot of people, that's why people post like big things coming soon because <laughs> yeah. you get the same <laughs> feeling you get the same feeling as having done the big thing. Yeah. 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 Because you acknowledge that it's going to happen. So to you, it's real. It's the exact same as having done that big thing. Yeah. How often does that big thing happen either? <laughs> it's just like. So my version I mean, we is, see it a lot is not doing the, the big things coming through soon post. It's creating the big plan. And then, and then either either that does it. or doesn't happen, and it just happens quietly and internally. Yeah. And I get my dopamine hit. I feel better about my life, and I keep moving. Is that oh, why yeah. you write so much too? Definitely. You, you told me you yeah you write like all the time. Yeah, always. You journaling or you mean no, like, no, like, like uh, music. music? You write, write, stuff. You write a lot of yeah, music. Yeah. Uh, Mike, I sent you this thing on the lesser known uh, Instagram. It's just, it's kind of cheesy, but I thought it was cool. This wasn't like a dude I would think would be putting up a video like this, but uh kinda kinda speaks to this. Oh time. really? Yeah, well while he does that, but there was yeah. something I, I watched this thing uh that Rob Deerdick said today, like, you know, he goes he goes he was, you know, honest. He goes, I have hundreds of millions of dollars, but he goes, I still make vision boards. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? And and uh yeah, and I never think to think that like yeah, because I always, I guess I always put that stuff as kind of cheesy. Yeah. Making lists and stuff like that. I'm like, why would I make a fucking list and I you know it and not to get like too crazy or too emo, but like I think it's because you know losing my brothers and then losing my best friend. I think that's why I don't like set goals or like well the goal you know, is also a, a mark for disappointment. Yeah, yeah, I don't set yeah. goal, like or like or at least make a list of like trying to like create something. And I'm like you know I'm gonna just do what I can. Yeah, you know that's how just I like kind of live. Yeah, but uh, 
but I think I want to uh, be able to, uh, you know, I guess analyze that and like take the time to actually, you know, see see what that is and like yeah, not 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 necessarily goals, but at least making a list. It's yeah. A, 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 well, a also plan. don't like to me. You should never worry about what's like cheesy because you use the word cheesy about making lists yeah, yeah. And, and having the goals. Yeah. But like that's the um. That's my ego. It's ego, and 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 that's robbing yourself of like the the freedom. Like I've been trying to embrace the freedom to be cringe, mm. because mm. at the end of the day, like you have to actually be free to make the truly great shit. And and what I think Military Guns started out of was me trying to achieve my own creative freedom and my like losing the fucking judgment of youth of people saying that yeah. sucks this sucks like that that type of band's fucking whack whatever and i'm like no like i'm going to be a, i'm going to make something that's like as equally influenced by things that are cringe mm. as things that are cool yeah in quotes yeah i think you they're just all gave the me some new me. insight so you got to be cringe really we know we have the same birthday oh yeah 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 i didn't know that you yeah, got to yeah, be yeah. cringe yeah. yeah i agree because then you're just holding yourself to this rigid like box of yeah. what's cool. Stand up is so cringe, bro. Like yeah. that, Stand like it's 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 crazy. Yeah, <laughs> I tell them they're just speech writers all the time, like high school speech kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and like like when when I think of stand up, I I think of like I'm just up there to be goofy. Yeah, you know that's how yeah. I that's think it. Like, like I, I I don't take it. A lot of shit that I write, I don't take that fucking serious because it's like I'm just being goofy. Like yeah, like like that's the whole intent behind it or whatever. Oh, yeah. it's just a video. Yeah, this is the have? video. Yeah, hit it, Mike. Feel like you hate everyone. Eat. If you feel like everyone hates you, sleep. If you feel like you hate yourself, shower. If you feel like everyone hates everyone, go outside. Yeah. If you feel overwhelmed by your thoughts, write them down. If you feel lost and alone, call a friend. If you feel yeah. stuck in the past, plan for the future. If you feel anxious about the future, focus on the present. If you feel like you're not enough, list your achievements. If you Damn. feel like you can't control I did that recently for the first time. You did? I listed, I've made a list. Like and good. I was like, all right, Do we're doing all right. So I did I did something recently uh, that I've ne I never, ever, ever, ever fucking do. It's very, it's very rare that I, what, uh, that I have done it too. But uh, so I started teaching anger management at a recovery mm. uh, center. And... Um, uh, the, after the first session I did, someone asked me to bring in, like, they were like, would you be willing to share some of your, your journal stuff with us? Like, and I was like, Oh, I mean, sure. I mean, you know, cause I was telling them how often I journal, I journal mm -hmm. like a lot, like, uh, and like, I have like a crate filled of like journals that I've writ written over the years. Yeah. And so I brought in one and I read something and I was like, Holy fuck. It just kind of like hit me. That I was like, Oh, I, I was like, I still hold that today. Mm. It was something I wrote like fucking six years ago or yeah. so. And I was like, man, I can't believe I still hold. Like, how do I now I got to figure that out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, man, it's, it, it was just fucking wild. Like putting that down and like, you know, that. so you got me. I don't know. You just got me, you just got me thinking about like the list. Make stuff. the list. See, journaling, I never I've always struggled with. I can't do it. So journaling's different. So I always tell people I go write whatever the whatever the energy you have at that moment. Like, if you have the energy to write 10 pages, write 10 pages. See, that's if you what, don't. But that feels more cringe than anything to me is, yeah. is the is the writing my my internal monologue. It, like, I can't do that one, man. I, that I do it. All, it that, oh, dude, it, 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 don't get me wrong. It was, it was tough at, at first. But, like, you know, see, like just being honest with myself about my shit, like, it makes me, like, not give a fuck what people really think of me. Yeah. You know, because it's like, well, I know me better than anyone else ever will. Yeah. All no, all because true. of all these journals. That's the one. And that's something I've always like, you know, pride myself on. It's like, I'm going to know me better than you will. Mm -hmm. So you can say whatever you want. And I know 1000% you're off. Well, that that's where I've been getting to lately of like feeling a comfort. Because like, obviously, as you get bigger, the only thing you really actually see that's different is how much more people talk shit about you. Mm. Yeah. You know, like, so... Especially in the comedy game. And so my thing <laughs> is, you know, some guy was like, oh, you guys are trying to blow up so hard and you don't even have good songs. And I was like, well, one, correct your statement, we are blowing up. <laughs> two, <laughs> two uh, seems like a lot of people like these songs. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you know, you're like, you're like, so, so go ahead and suck my dick. Fuck yeah, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. Not like, uh, and, and you're also like, well, you're just like a loser who, like, you know, you go always. Yeah, if people comment on YouTube, whatever. Say something negative. You go to their page, what do they got? Nothing. Nothing. No, no they photo. Put, they, put, they've put nothing into the world. And you're like, all right, you don't know what you this know my is favorite like. thing, You know my favorite thing to do when someone says, like, they don't like my comedy? I go, well, I hope to get better. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all I say. Well, that's my that's my, that's yeah, my own assessment, regardless of someone criticizing Yeah, yeah, me. I go, well, hope My to get goal better. is to write a better song. Yeah, that's, and, and it's, it's genuine, because I'm like, well, I hope, <laughs> hope to get better. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, yeah, no, yeah. we have the same goal for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Actually, yeah. Thanks, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I hope that I do get better at this. That'd be great. Uh, okay, next question. Song that reminds you of love. I'm excited for this one. What's my answer? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So this one, this one is is. Uh, I'm a big Lana Del Rey fan. It's like, okay. It's like one of my real big obsessions. But this one, one I like being held like a baby. Yeah. You know? Hell yeah. But but yeah, let me love you like a woman is uh oh. and the chorus is let me let me love you like a woman let me hold you like a baby you know and oh don't do this beautiful. to me oh, and she on, said i come from man. a small town how about you that's me bro oh. I come from a small town she's on coachella yeah oh you yeah. don't know how excited i am yep oh. <sighs> yeah i got to this chorus man I don't care where <laughs> I love love mm-hmm. a lot too. Let me a lot. Love you like a woman. Oh. Let me you like a baby. Please, Lana. <laughs> <laughs> that's a big baby. That's a It's <laughs> a black ass baby. <laughs> oh, that's normal. I mean, this is like... <laughs> but yeah, just a beautiful dude. Have you, you you've been in a lot of relationships or no? Just kind of. I'm a serial monogamist, so so not that many relationships, but I've been in long relationships. Okay. Currently in a in a long relationship, and that's kind oh, yeah, of my. Three, yeah, you said three years. Yeah, Y'all yeah. Been together. Yeah. yeah. So I like uh, I like, yeah. I, I love you like love. love. I love love. Yeah. 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 I love yeah. comfort. I love oh, having uh, man. uh a, a routine. Man, I'm getting all giddy you know, and shit. Like uh. Yeah, I get excited to go home and, and be like, all right, we're going to settle in and fucking Hell yeah. lay in bed and yeah. with these cats. And fucking yeah, I, I, I don't have a girlfriend anymore, but uh, when I did, my favorite thing uh, was when I would go on the road mm-hmm. and I would come home yeah. to her. That was like my it's favorite amazing. thing. Yeah. I love that shit. Yeah. It's fucking, it's just pure. Well, I've noticed too with like the bigger your life gets, the more you crave those small interactions, you know? Mm-hmm. I just did this like thing and uh, last week and it was like so built up in my head that when it was over that I just wanted like to run back to like a small, just to yeah, regroup, regroup yeah. and yeah. like get back to normal, see. That, that was my thing when, when my best friend lived in Riverside. Oh and, yeah, yeah. Like all these big things would happen. Like I remember when I, uh, when I first opened for Rogan at yeah, the store. Yeah, you said this. Like before. I was like, after that, I was like, I need to run away for a second. I didn't want that to yeah. get to my head. Yeah, because it it did because it frequent it kept happening frequently where he would ask me to you know do the Rogan and friends and so I was like I need to go to the IE and just sit and I would just be with my friend and we and like he lived in the their downtown is really small or whatever but. I'd just be out there and just kind of like kill a that, like, 30 pack, do some mm-hmm. cocaine, Man. hookers. Yeah, I mean, it, well, that is one of those things where you slowly uh, lose your ability to relate through mm. a lot of yeah, this shit. Yeah. And it's a very complicated thing because no one can take, there's no sympathy for you in it because you're yeah. like, oh, you're doing well, you know, whatever. But it, it is hard because you're like, how do you relate to you know and then you're like i'm just gonna call up the biggest motherfucker i know to ask them how they feel about all this shit or what you know like yeah so you're like slowly you you lose your ability to complain about anything as far as to the people in your in your life everyone else is like well you got shut up yeah yeah Yeah. like i would love to have that problem lana will you hold me like a baby yeah (laughs) that's my camera right Lana, will you hold me like this? A baby? Just in, Lana Del Rey has two broken arms <laughs> 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 and a ruptured spleen. Fuck off. Anyways, double next XL question. Chappelle. Next question. Uh, favorite workout or hype song? I'm excited to see what I put for this. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, I no, I, this is the one. 
Oh, nice. This this one's for, for Chappelle. I'm not looking. Yeah. Just hit play. You know this already. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. This is it. This is the Come one. Come on. I was at one of these shows. Are that from this video? Yeah, I was at this Seattle show. Did you help with this video? No, fuck no. Oh. No, I didn't know them. I wasn't oh, a T.U.I. fan even at the time. But uh, there's no, this is one of the best hardcore songs of all time. Yeah. That's homie from uh from rotting out. Rotting out, yeah. yeah. Bruh. I fucking love this band. No, nah, no. So much. So what I love about this song is that it shit talks the audience. Yeah, that that was the show. Is that yeah. right? You just did that front flip. Um but the um the the big thing for me is like I don't need the respect of the mentally weak. Like I love that lyric dude, so that, much. Hell yeah! You, uh, I, his lyricism. Oh, oh yeah, dude. It's just one of yeah. my like see God. See God, yeah. yeah. I was gonna the say lyrics that, to yeah. see God, like, oh my god. But this one just like I love it because you know a lot of people kiss ass, and this song is the uh, the antithesis of, ki- uh, of kissing ass. Kissing you know ass. what I'm saying? And like. I can't believe how stupid you must be to read, yeah. to, to believe everything you read here or see. Like, like, even what he says in the fucking uh, the little break right here. Yeah, you like, shake my hand, say, say please, please to meet you. you. Look me in the eye. I don't yeah. Be, fucking yeah. Holy right shit. here, this is my shit right here. Yeah. There you go, Mike. Okay. Shake my hand. Say please to meet you. Look me in the eye. I don't believe you. Oh, da 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 da. Ah. Dude, yeah. I mean, this there's just this song gets me so fucking hyped. Oh, it's it's it. This is a great, great, great hype song. Fucking ripped. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Brendan. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> well, at the time, it's funny because I I was always like more street punk vibes. Yeah. And so I kind of resented like the hot boy hardcore shit at yeah, the time. Yeah. But then you hear this and you're like, Nah, nah. this is it. Yeah. I, I, I was the same. It, Did I just you know? have gotten into the hardcore world because of Chappelle? But yeah. I was more like. So, Rancid, Pennywise, that yeah. stuff was my shit. So I I met Justice at like the end of 2020 or the or 20 or the start of 2021 and I I I didn't know anything about him. And then uh when I met right after I met him, I just started I was like, "Oh, let me look up this guy's shit." And then I fucking just yeah. like from Angel Dust to fucking TUI like yeah. I was just like I was completely fucking sold and it was like it, it, it's weird because like there's there he has songs that like make me think of like this this time of my life or just who I am who I am as a person like mm-hmm. who I like who like I I collectively look at like me as a person over the over the years and you know TUI has a lot of songs that help me like you know just understand that and just like what what things were and what things are for mm-hmm. me. That's why I love them so much. Yeah. Do I mean Justice? Uh, I met Justice off a cold email. R- you you emailed I cold him. emailed him. Yeah. Hell yeah. And uh, I I was making music videos, and he had posted one of my videos that I directed for another band on, on the Angel Dust account. And okay. So I was like, so I know he's seen mm. my work. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he just posted it. So I emailed him. And I was like, hey, I'm a big Angel Dust fan. Like, would love to work with you guys if if ever you want to do a video. Like, I'll I'll pay for it. Whatever. And uh, he responded. We started texting. And then the video was like not happening. And then <laughs> I ran into him at Rainfest and was like, hey, man, like we emailed. Like, I don't know if you remember me. And he was like, you think you could do a video for us? Really? He asked me as if like I hadn't already asked yeah. him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So it became his idea. Damn. You know? and, and, uh, and then it happened. And, I, and the first video I did was Angel Dust uh, Headstone. Headstone. Oh, let's Ooh. see that. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was the oh, first video I did done. for them. It wasn't the first video I did. It wasn't your first video ever. No, no. I'm excited to see what the views are at. I'd say, I'm going to guess 56 million. What is it at? 239K. I was close. Let's go. I was close. Fuck yeah, dude. Great. I love the colors. Pat with long hair. Yeah. It was fun because they just love being goofy. Yeah. Like Dan just found those headphones and plugged <laughs> it into that guitar. I love I love the simplicity of it. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's all we had was yeah. some pussy. I was like, this is my humping dog. No, this is tight. The best part was that Dan wanted to do this uh, drum thing. Where? <laughs> Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something that was really interesting was I, I originally wanted it to kind of be like, so I feel like when you're early days of directing, you, a lot of people do like this really apathetic person, like singing thing, because it's really easy. It's really yeah. easy to direct. And I remember thinking, I remember asking Justice to do that and him being like, no, he was which like, is no. cool. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like it made the video so much more fun and interesting because... It, it, it didn't need to be apathetic white guy. It was it, it needed like fun and energy and he pushed for that um, Where I probably would have made like the safe version and not the version where he's like dancing and having yeah, a great yeah, time having fun. Yeah, You yeah. know like and that's what's like so it, br it brings, an, it brings another Dust. light. Yeah, it brings Look another at that light. guy. Oh, uh, man it brings got, a, Directed by Angel. There so you go. Corny, <laughs> so corny, bro uh, you It brings another it. light. I know it. but yeah. the, having a title card corny Embrace the cringe, man. Embrace the cringe. I got a question. <laughs> Who's that? Was it was it their idea to do the same sex kiss? Uh, yeah, they pushed for that. I mean, okay. it was like it was like yeah. I wanted well originally I wrote it for a different song called Twist and Shout, and then they decided they wanted to do Headstone instead. Oh, okay. And uh, I wanted people kissing in that video, so that was like the one holdover was was the that this dude Matt Berry and Jeff Caffey kissing. I, I think what's great about that is I I like that like with Jackass or whatever. I like when people. When say a hardcore band that is seen as this like masculine thing, they insert that sort of stuff to let the fans know like this is for everyone. Yeah, and well, you got also, and you got to force these tough guys to like reckon with that with yeah. themselves. Well, it's bit. also difficult. They feel it too. You never know if it's like the whole gay is funny thing is yeah. is also not woke for sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, no, no, I get that, but I think that there is a thing with like these hardcore like ma masculine dudes sort of like loving a band, seeing that and going like. Oh, like yeah. Like, the, I, there's another. There's a video I did for Drug Church where there's a, a gay scene. Shout out Drug Church. Uh, but it's like an actual gay man. Yeah, and his the guy that he liked. So he's progressive. He hired, he hired an actual yeah. gay Great. man for yeah. the scene. Well, I was gonna hire uh, you know like Scarlett Johansson or something, but she was she was <laughs> she was she was busy. Yeah. <laughs> to play uh, too busy cold to, emailing her. Too, too too busy to play a gay man oh, that day. The, oh, your desert island album. This one is the most obvious one I put, but Abbey Road by the Beatles. Nice. Wow. Fuck yeah. Great. I mean, like the B-side. Great. To me, the B-side is like a power violence record because it's like if you listen to like there's stretches where you don't know where one song begins and another ends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I just love this fucking record. I mean, Here Comes the Sun is... Here comes yeah. the I mean, what, rightfully one of the best songs of all time. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, so crazy. Fucking great. As a drummer, I got to ask you, you, are you a Ringo fan? Of course. Yeah, me too, man. Everyone else can suck my I dick. mean, anyone, <laughs> uh, the whole uh, idea of good or bad is insane. Yeah. But he's a left-hand lead, which is really interesting. Yeah, me too. Oh, really? Yeah. The drummer we have drumming for us right now is also a left-hand lead, and it's fun. To hear the difference. It's fucked up my whole life yeah. because you're trying to learn a, a thing and you just can't do it. A fill, I don't, I don't yeah. flow right. Uh -huh. So you have the you have the kick between. You, I mean, I don't even know. I couldn't even explain it, but I but I know I, I lead yeah. with my left, and yeah. it's always we'll, been. We'll, a, we'll show him. A, we'll show him a video after this. My big plan was RJC to record at Abbey Road someday, but I, it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> my brother can't leave the country, so. Oh okay. Uh, but. The uh, maybe maybe military gun someday at Abbey Road. No, I love this because uh, Desert Island. Everybody's brought records that are really like a lot to to dig through. So yeah, while yeah. You're passing but it's like time. I, I feel like I could do that one over and over again. Yeah, you I'm know. A, I'm a, uh, talk so much yourself as I find Joel. Yeah, we've got in a couple. What about uh, Craig? Text I think brought a, some a Gorillas record, and I was like, yeah, there's Gorillas all... self-titled could have potentially made it. Yeah. The problem is I don't like the big. Like nineteen two thousand, necessarily. You know, like there's like some corny songs. Yeah, the hits. Yeah, some cringy songs. Would you say? Yeah, what'd you say uh, there? Yeah, no, I don't know. They're just songs I don't want to listen. Yeah, to. you know, yeah, like yeah. the you noodle, always, the you noodle count? songs I don't want to listen. Yeah, to, text it to me. I'll text it to you. But um, but yeah, I don't know. Gorillas 
high, high on the list. You like that? You ever you've seen the Manchester the live at the Manchester Opera House? Manchester. Demon no, Days. I never watched it. It's good. Oh, they did a DVD Demon Days. like I love yeah, live Demon, Demon Days, Days yeah. all the way through with the full band. That was when they then when they stopped playing behind the curtain. Yeah, they're kind of like backlit. You mm-hmm. see their shadows a little bit. Yeah. You know, I like that now. It's just a band. Yeah, it's cool that way. Yeah, for you know? sure. Are you a fan? You ever listen to the Good, but the Bad, and the Queen? Here's Joel. Listen. It's Damon Albarn and Paul from The Clash. Oh, that's not good. Here's yeah. Joel. There we go. Here's a fill. There we go. You got the lowrider style. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Barker. Yeah, yeah, for okay, sure. Okay, drummers. Okay, Which sticks are those? Those are long as fuck. I think those are the Travis Barker ones. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're very heavy. And I think I switched them out after that. I had, was trying them out. And I start with them and then had to get some... I see. I think I switched for like some so wait, 5As or something. What, uh, you're saying you feed with your left? Yeah, all my accents are on the left. Where like a right handed, it goes right, left, right, left, right, left. So it works. He goes so left, you're right, like left, left, right, 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 left, right. Oh, yeah. wow. So it's a little tough to get from here to there. Yeah. But I didn't know all the videos I was watching, I didn't know you could set up your kit left handed. Mm-hmm. So I just kind of learned how to play like oh, that. Oh, so you never put, yeah, you never thought to play like, uh, no. like the original drummer of Rancid. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Brett Reed. Yeah, Brett Reed. Yeah. Brett Reed. Anyway, enough of this uh, guy. Yeah, <laughs> enough of this guy. Yeah, rip it. Um, all right, so yeah, <laughs> my favorite thing is that you will never catch me do a karaoke. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we didn't do that because, because yeah, you will I never. I'm not it. singing karaoke. Oh, hilarious. Yeah, me shit. either. No uh, way. Uh, All right, no uh, way. Guilty pleasure song. Right now, it's Olivia Rodrigo. Nice. Really bad idea, right? Yeah, this one. This one's got me. It's got a hold on me. She say anything about me? No. Uh, I've been jamming jamming the good for you on my. On the kit with it in my headphones oh, really? lately, yeah. I think I might want to do a cover at some point. See, this is the part that makes it the guilty pleasure because the chorus I'm just good with, but like this is like so teenage that yeah, I'm yeah, like yeah. I feel weird listening to it, yeah, but I yeah. also love it. Okay. <laughs> like blah blah blah. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I was expecting this out of you. Yeah. It makes sense to me. It does? Yeah. So you hear military gun. Olivia Rodrigo is not a far step away. <laughs> Hopefully one, one day Olivia Rodrigo will Put be right on here. my... Fuck it, it's fine. Dude, this is so, like, teeny. Yeah. It's like bowling for soup almost. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Is this an old song? No, it's new. Oh, it's new? It's new, yeah. Yeah, so. Wait, how old is she? I don't know. We're not talking about that time. Oh, be yeah. careful, <laughs> be <laughs> careful, <laughs> dog. Wait, that's what I was like, wait. I got out of here. Well, I'm sitting here like, did she say anything about me? I just want to make sure I'm yeah. good. <laughs> we'll just move past it. Yeah, yeah we'll move past it. We'll, we know how to head it. Yeah. So, anyway. No, that's tight. Hell yeah. Damn. Certified pop bangers. Certified I love pop, pop music. music. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I love pop music, and so this is this is that. You think you should hit him with your last question since he wants to do a little stand up. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were if you were a stand up and you were gonna gonna do a special or you're going out on stage, what is your song to play before you go out? It's that walkout music. That that walkout walkout music. I don't know. As a stand up, my thing is is I it would be something that I'd make. That that's like it's boring because like we have we have walkout music that we made. Cool. You know, and oh, you like, guys made your own walkout music. Yeah, 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 and like it's like the chords for "Do It Faster," and then we put a bunch of sound clips from movies over it. That oh, cool. So that like sound like references to oh. to um songs. So like like we have that song uh, "Seizure of Assets" in the chorus is "Biting Bastard Leeches," and like there's a clip from uh, uh the. Wes Anderson movie, what the fuck is it? Uh, Life Aquatic, where he's like leeches, leeches, everybody check for leeches. I've and never seen like, it. Just okay. me. Uh, but uh, yeah, we we and it's like, you know, like Big Lebowski and and uh, like don't pick up the phone and then like got you know, oh, like, so you take a lot so of like, like, like yeah like and we got stuff for panels we're like are you fucking high right now? <laughs> Your high is a fucking kite, and you know, like because it's very high, you know, like Hell but yeah. so then then the set starts. I have to see you guys. Yeah, you do. I have to. 
I think there's a point in time. There's some. There's. I think there's one point where you guys play New York, mm-hmm. and I think that when oh wait, when do you play New York? The fifteenth. No, I can't. There, so wait, at, there's where are you guys at on the seventeenth? Canada, I think. Fuck. So we're in Boston the sixteenth. Go fifteenth, sixteenth, and then I have a day break. Hold on, where am I at? Let me zoom in. Yeah. So fourteenth, fifteenth. See, your best bet is fucking the thirteenth. Just pull up to DC. And then drive to Virginia. Dog. Virginia's an or, hour. Yeah. How much are tickets? You ain't gotta pay for a ticket. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> You pay for a ticket. <laughs> Fuck out of here. You gotta bro. ask. What? You can't afford it, dude. <laughs> that show's sold out. You can't buy one. <laughs> <laughs> resale, resale. I know you guys already got some sold out shows, yeah, huh? We That's got, awesome. We got, we're, we're gonna we're gonna be at like ten sellouts. Yeah, yeah. So I Fuck guess because uh, yeah. this will be by the time you're yeah uh yeah let's pull up their tour dates and you know I guess you guys could catch them on the northeast or whatever. Yeah, so, by the, time this so by the time this comes out, yeah, we'll be heading What's straight. Your, in is it just East. militarygun.com? Slash tour, yeah. Slash tour. Um, but yeah, yeah, like uh, Philly. This is me. I've always wanted to do the comedians plug in the day. Okay, there you we go. Got, we got Philly at the at the First Unitarian Church. We got... Uh, yeah. No, yeah. but then all the other Northeast dates are sold out. So if you live in Canada, pull up to Montreal, Toronto. Toronto's about to sell out. Damn. Uh, How's that feel? It feels great. It feels. I mean, we've done shows before, and, and like I remember, I was thinking about when we when we were supposed to do the rocks when we did the Roxy like last last year, and I was like so stressed because I was like, that's a 500 cap room. You know, you have the importance on the the, the yeah. capacity, which is such a lame and stupid way to value yourself against the room you're put in. It's, like that's yeah, stupid. Yeah. You know wait, what I'm saying? What do you, wait, what do you mean? Like uh, I think you as comedians and as musicians were were valued against the room we're put in. Yeah, because a sellout you could sell out a room is fifty people, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. And and yeah. that's a sellout seems yeah. so important. That's fifty people. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. if you're in a four hundred cap room and you do three hundred people, that seems less important than the fifty that you sold out because it doesn't say sold out on it or whatever. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So yeah. it's like you're valued against the room that you're in, and uh, you know we're we're selling more tickets in cities that are not our own in a way that I, I, you know, was way past where I thought the peak of the band would have been. And yeah, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I should start mentioning my tour dates on here because I never do, actually. Your um, reps would probably love it. <laughs> 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 all right, so, th- all right, yeah, I'm going to do it, too. I'll do it right now. Uh, what's my, where am I at? So, wait, after this, can this... we workshop my, my, my stand-up story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I, yeah. I'll tell it. When? I'll tell it right now. And then we can workshop. You can be okay, like, all right, okay, we'll, all right, 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 yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, end it with a little yeah, bit we'll of a... Uh, Open I'll, mic. Uh, Feb- uh, when does this come out? Twelfth, February fourteenth. I'll be in Richmond. The funny funny bone. bone. Uh, February fifteenth. I'll be. Here's why the the funny bones in Virginia, Richmond, Virginia, and Virginia Beach are so important. Because if I don't sell a hundred tickets, they cancel the shows twenty four hours before. And if you already bought tickets, you're gonna be pissed. So well, and then he'll just be at whatever show where. Yeah, then I, yeah, yeah. Then I'll just be at <laughs> yeah, yeah, military yeah. gun. I'm like, oh shit, they canceled. Uh, March sixth, Charlotte. March seventh, Greensboro. Greensboro, and then March tenth, Raleigh. And then, oh, just added April tenth, Ontario. Uh, oh, I'm gonna go to that one. You, you'll be here. I'll be home. Really? I'll pull up to the Ontario. Pull park. up to it. I would love for you to pull up. Let's I'll give it. you a guest spot. Yeah, let's do it. All right. I'll be filming. Yeah, he'll be filming, and we'll give you a guest spot. The guests are like not on stage. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Like, now no, I want to no, be no, on no, it. No, yeah, no, yeah. No. Can you? No, no, no. Does it work if I do it live on the podcast? No, no. <laughs> All right, let's hear it. Okay, so I'm going to do like a story, not like a... I'm not going to attempt okay. stand-up. But, uh, you know, like, when when was the last time, like... I'm trying to think how to, how to actually start it in this way. Because usually it starts, like, with... The, usually it starts with, like, talking about shitting your pants. Yeah, okay, okay. You're like... You're like... Which I is so lowbrow, terrible. I don't like talking about poop. Okay. It's funny. It works. It works. So lowbrow. But... So there was this girl that I had this really long lead up with. She lived in uh, in Reno. I was like 18 or 19 okay. at the time. And uh, I was like, you know, I was, I was trying to holler. And she was like, I'm going to move up to the Northwest. And and uh, y- you should like fly down and drive up with me. And I was like, hell yeah, slam dunk. <laughs> and I go, 
uh, and I fly into Reno, and then there's just zero vibes between us. I sleep on Ugh. the couch. We drive back to the Northwest. She just drops me off at my house. Oh! I just helped her move for no reason. <laughs> Which, like, I guess for no reason makes me sound like a really bad guy in this <laughs> equation. But you're like, uh, you're like, what What was this? Like, what the fuck happened? You know, like, it, it was... You were hoping for it, sparks. Yeah. Well, in, like, I talked, pull up and there's just zero, like, from jump. Just yeah. nothing between us. And I was like, oh, this is fucking weird. Drops me off in my house in Tacoma, Washington. And that was that. I was like, okay. Then I get a text one day. Do you want to come stay the night? Whoa. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I would like that. <laughs> I think I would like that. Uh, so at the time, I was playing in bands in Seattle, and and, and I was we were like, it was like the broke EBT days, you know? Yep. And our my idea of a snack for some reason was uh, sourdough bread and baked beans. Uh-huh. Okay. So like I went to band practice in Seattle. I'm waiting for her to get off work. I'm sitting there on a stoop with my friend eating sourdough bread and baked beans before staying at a girl's house. Why? I do not know. As she picks me up in her BMW, my stomach oh no is bubbling. <laughs> my stomach is is like 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 that, you know, like the really discomfort in and it goes and then like it dissipates. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm having that and she goes, "Oh yeah, um by the way, there's a party." Oh. At my house happening right now. And I was like, oh, yeah, okay, okay, cool, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds, sounds cool. We pull up. There's people everywhere. Yeah. I was like, where's the bathroom? She was like, oh, it's over here. There's actually no lock on the door and the light's broken. Uh. And I was like, you're having a party when <laughs> your bathroom door lock is broken and yeah. there's no light in the bathroom. But now I'm too scared to shit. Mm. Because there's a, it's a house full of people. Yeah. yeah. And I got to be in a dark room. Yep. By my, you know, just like, 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 and then someone just open, you know, and then the light just goes on you as you're just like <laughs> shitting. I was like, no, I can't yeah. do it. But it's getting late. It's like 1130. And she was like, actually, let's, let's go to Dick's, which is the, the drive in movie. The, uh, no, movie. the drive in, like, uh, it's a burger spot. Oh, got it. Like sorry, Sonic. Sorry. Yeah. And it's, and it's 24 hours, I believe. But so I was like, all right. We got the bathroom. I got the lead. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. We're driving. She goes, you know what? I don't feel like going. Let's just go to this grocery store right here. So we get out and I'm waddling because I'm in so much stomach pain. Ooh. I am in so much stomach pain. And you're keeping this to yourself? Yep. Though? I'm not like, I need a shit. I'm like 18, you know, like 18. And, and the stomach isn't loud at this point, right? No, 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 no. But, in, but it, it's loud but it's, for you. It's, 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 it's all consuming. Uh-huh. And we walk up to the door as they're literally locking the grocery store. Oh, no. And I was like, I was like, like, literally, I have the person. I was like, can I just, can I just come in and use the bathroom real quick? And they're like, no. So we just turn around. We're walking back to the car. And my stomach is just. Bloop, go. And I open the door to her BMW. And I get to oh, no. about here, uh, uh. and then I it, the bubble bursts, and I just start shitting my pants. Oh no! Man. Oh. Bubble bursts, and I lean up against the car, and I was like, I'm looking her in the eyes, and I was like, I I don't know what to say right now, but I'm shitting my pants. <laughs> And <laughs> I'm feeling it run into my socks. Uh, oh! Uh, she goes, "What are you gonna do?" And I was like, "Do you have a towel?" And she, it was summertime, so there was a towel in the back seat. And so she handed me a towel, and I was like, "All right, I'm gonna go figure this out." I walk to the front. I got, I grab the cart wipes. Uh huh. Oh, ooh. Okay. And I go and get naked behind a dumpster. And I'm cleaning myself off with the cart wipes. I leave my pants and underwear and my socks. So now I'm just Winnie the Pooh out here. <laughs> oh my God. I'm just Winnie the Pooh. 
and uh, I don't have pants. And I was in Seattle. I lived in Tacoma. <sighs> so where I'm walking back, I just have a towel and a t-shirt on and shoes with no socks. And I get in her car. I realize there's some shit on the towel. Oh, oh man. She, ah! She's got all the windows down. And I go, Ugh. what are we going to tell the people at your house? There's a house party. I yeah. left and I had pants. And I come back and I just don't own pants now. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? And she goes, well, just say you threw up on yourself. And... So I go and I take a shower. She like brings a, a lamp in there. So uh. like, but she lives with like one of her really good girlfriends. She's like, I won't say anything. I won't say anything. And I was young and dumb enough to believe that she didn't uh, say anything. No. Oh. You know, that. And her friend drove me home at 2 a.m. to Tacoma, Washington. So it's like 40 miles, drove me like 40 miles home. I did not stay the night. You didn't stay the night? I didn't stay the she night. She wasn't about it? No. And uh, and then later I ran into the to the to the friend. I was like, "Do you want to know a funny story?" <laughs> I was like, "I shit my pants." She's like, "Yeah, I know." She, said, <laughs> she was like, "She's like, I I uh." She said she could smell it and hear it and like all. Oh, no! I was like, "No!" <laughs> and uh, so that's the story that I think I could get to hit if if but I you know it needs beats. I yeah, know how yeah. to tell it in a through line. With a captivated audience a that, that like knows me, yeah, but it's I don't know how story. to do it with an audience I don't know. I mean, I felt it's the all, beats. it's all, it's all what you set up before. Like, it's like the party has to be more important. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because that that's the looming threat is the party. The only yeah. thing, yeah, what you would have to do is just tie who you are as a person, and then that that story can like becomes universal. Yeah, does that make sense? Because yeah, like yeah. you have the story, but like if you intro it with like who you are as a person. Yeah, and they go into it. That then it's then it's. There is a really crazy part that I don't know that is reality, which was that someone was attempting to call me to kick me out of a band that same night, and all that was happening all at the same time. But I'm like, it's so convoluted. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like but it's that. A, I mean, that's, that's a, too many de too is it too many details? Is it, it? You know. And the crazy part was that the girl caused all that shit. Oh no! You need all and, that information. And so, so it's like I got to figure out how to weave it because she she said to somebody. That like, I was like, oh, you should come see my band play, and she was like, well, Ian said that that's his band, oh. Oh. and like, and like everyone also had all crazy weird egos. They're like, what, his band, I'm in that band, yeah, wow. I, and it was a band I didn't write the music for, so I was like, I'll say my band, like my band that I play. And I don't know yeah. what the fuck, like, <laughs> yeah, I didn't like. She was trying to, but these grab, are those are all important parts. Yeah, so eventually, so I'll, we'll workshop it. Workshop. We'll work yeah, it. I think you could you could watch this video and see where we're yeah. reacting to it, yeah. and those are the parts that you your those timing are, yeah, is like. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that'll be your beats. You know, yeah, That's definitely it's got to be shorter though. Yeah, yeah, got to be shorter. Get rid of all the words. There's yeah. a lot of words. Yeah, yeah. someday. Damn. Damn. Ian Shelton, everybody. Well, come see him do that story yeah. April 10th yeah, at the yeah, Ontario, Ontario Improv. Ontario Improv. <laughs> I will put you up on stage if you but, want. Well, it's my brother's birthday, so I got to see if he wants to. But the next, Bring him. The next time, you know. It's sold out already, so you can't buy a ticket. Oh. I'm just kidding. No, no, it's not. It's not. It's an oh, April. Oh, um, shit. No, no. You got, no, I got you guys. What's the What's the cap? The cap. No cap. No cap. No, I think like that, three that room was like 350 or 400 cap. Are you going to sell it out? I did pretty good last time, All so right. hopefully I do this time. All right. I feel like my audience is growing, so hopefully. Let's go. We will once we plug more of these dates. Yeah, you know we're gonna. I know. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna start plugging these dates more often. I just feel bad because he. You don't got dates? Is that what he just did? Do you right there? He's saying you don't got dates. I've got dates. February second, I'll be at the stand up comedy club. This in already Bell be Fly. out. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you fucked up. You missed out. One of you has dates with girls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. You know what, man? This was a great episode. <laughs> girl, let me be clear. Girl. Girl, Mike. Don't. <laughs> Ian, thank you for coming to hey, this. Thank with, you for this having means me. a lot yeah. to have you here. So, this is our, only our second musician to be on the yeah, wild. show. So, Damn. We, need, we want more musicians to come up on this. I, get, I got them for you. Yeah, yeah. You do. Use you me do. as the plug. We'll, we'll get you. We'll hey, get you that's the Hell plug. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Uh, catch Ian uh, and Military Gun on on in Military Gun. Sorry, catch Military Gun. It's his band. It's his band. It's my band. It's his band. Catch Military you Gun on tour. Uh, and enjoy this episode. Yeah. Right. Bye. Characters.